welcome back you guys. It's been a while since my last video. As the saying goes, no news is good news and all has been well on our front. Growing up, I've often heard that people tend to be more creative when they struggle. This might be true, but I also want to make sure we document our journey when things are going well too. The biggest development in the last few months is that we've had to separate Cookie and Marvin away from Sundri and Scooby. After years of relatively peaceful cohabitation, Sundri and Scooby have been attacking Cookie and Marvin. We tried to delay the segregation as much as we could, mainly because we strongly believe that, ideally, we want to be able to all live together peacefully. But after several bad fights and going to professional help, we accepted this new reality. We built a separate house and garden for Cookie and Marvin, which they immediately loved, and we take it in turns letting them roam around the farm while we tie Sundari and Scooby. This has worked really well and brought a sense of stability amongst the dogs. Christmas Eve and it's seven in the morning and it's cold. Sundari does not like you don't like your Christmas jacket, do you? You don't like your Christmas jacket. We've been having very foggy mornings and there is even a nilgay or wild antelope that's been hanging out near the farm. We've seen him for several days now. The winter has so far been quite mild, but we still make sure everyone stays warm. The dogs, of course, have their coats, and so do the horses. alternate between moments when the fog becomes really thick and moments when it lifts and lets a very welcome sun shine through. team has changed in the past few months, mainly because the previous staff has left the work in the Middle East. There's a huge drain of Indian grooms moving there where they can earn much more, and we expect this to be a growing challenge going forward. For the moment, however, we are happy with our team who seems devoted to the animals. Manjeev continues to do an amazing job keeping the farm full of beautiful plants and flowers. He's even planted some vegetables and we've eaten delicious farm-grown spinach and cauliflower. And of course, we continue to spend a lot of time training horses in the beautiful spirit of natural horsemanship. 